Let's go back to September 30th, 2019. On this day, the California Senate Bill 206, aka the Fair Pay to Play Act, is passed, allowing collegiate athletes to acquire endorsements and sponsorships while still maintaining athletic eligibility. Smash cut to February of this year, EA Sports announces that they will be rebooting their college football series in 2023, as soon as legally possible. Because shooters shoot. I'm actually surprised it took them until February 2021 to announce it. However, as of this recording, there is no announced plan to reboot either NCAA basketball, or for that matter, the critically acclaimed College Hoops 2K series. There is, however, hope. For the first time in a long time, there is a real chance that we could get a new college basketball video game in a year, or five. But what does the next college basketball game need to feel both relevant to today's gamers and familiar to fans of NCAA games of the past? What does the next college basketball game need to stand out in today's massively overcrowded gaming landscape? What can the next college game do to be great? In the spirit of March Madness, we're chasing that one shining moment and dreaming that impossible dream. We're Operation Sports, I'm Matt Ederer, and these are the top five things we need from the next college basketball video game. Number five, women's college and potential WNBA inclusion. We're throwing this in at number five because it should be a given when you're making a sports game in 2021, really, or 2023, or when and if this game ever does get made. Women's sports are gaining in popularity and mainstream exposure more and more every day. The fact is, when I was a kid, SportsCenter didn't even care about the WNBA. I'm not going to fault the games of old for not including female athletes, but in this day and age, it shouldn't be hard to also let female gamers and athletes be represented. Number 4. Deep GM and Career Modes Speaking of things that should be givens, we're mashing these together here. It's 2021 and any sports game worth its weight in NBA 2K VC has a decent career mode. It would be great to be able to start a college career in high school, to be recruited while playing a full year against Autogen High School schmoes. I want to go for 125 points against Lower Rhode Island Tech. A deep individual career mode was a staple of the NCAA football series three gaming generations ago. Current day systems should be able to really flesh out the basic concepts that were started on the PS2. Not only should gameplay be much better, but imagine what could be done with academics, or the whole social aspect of going to school, perhaps through a lobby where players could play in various events or mini game modes. Perhaps a frolf or dodgeball game could be thrown in. I'm looking at you, 2K. The reason why College Hoops 2K8 was so beloved was its legacy mode, possibly the best GM mode in any game ever to this day. They honestly don't have a whole lot to do to College Hoops 2K8's legacy mode to make it better. They could make recruiting a little deeper. They could add the ability to approach players on other teams to transfer to your school. They could step training and coaching up to the level of current Gen 2K, or at least PS2 Madden. That's really all that mode needs. Number 3. Robust Player Creation Sidebar, why do people always describe player creation as robust? Anyway, part of why people are so excited about eSports Boxing Club is the Create a Boxer feature, which looks to be extremely deep and detailed. Whether you're the type to spend an hour tweaking minor facial details, or the type to make a balding mustache man or slap a rainbow afro on a 7-footer and call it a day, Character creation and customization can be essential to the gaming experience. And while we're on the subject, can we include more hairstyles in sports games, please? If you can spend thousands of man hours on sweat physics, you can give us a few more hairstyles. Number 2. CBS slash ESPN Licensing College Hoops 2K8's incredible Selection Sunday and preseason special set the bar so high that it's both hard to imagine any game ever matching it, and also hard to picture a future college basketball game without it. Every college basketball game from this point forward absolutely needs a full Selection Sunday special, and if it's not produced by Bryant Gumbel and Clark Kellogg, 
I gotta tell you, I'm probably sticking with 2K8. Number one, NCAA licensing. Of all the things we've proposed today, this is definitely the most expensive. Say what you will about the NCAA, but one thing is for sure, they love money. It might go without saying, but in order for the next college basketball game to make any kind of a dent at all, the absolute most important and key piece to the puzzle is paying for that NCAA licensing. You gotta drop the bag. Without the actual teams, logos, mascots, courts, fight songs, jerseys, and of course the big one, players, no college game will ever feel complete. Now the player likeness issue obviously is a big one, and it seems as though, at least for EA's first foray back into college sports in 2023, EA Sports is going to get around the player likeness issue by just not using any actual player likenesses. But in basketball, that's a little tougher. Players' likenesses are far more prominent and in our faces. We aren't seeing 22 people in pads. We're seeing 10 people close up in shorts and a tank top. I hate to say this out loud and basically demand that any company sign a deal with the devil, uh, but let's be real here. I would be shocked if a college sports game that didn't have NCAA licensing ever truly made it. College games need the NCAA licensing. And the next NCAA College Hoops game that wins our hearts should have full player likenesses. And those players should be paid. Thanks, California. That's going to do it for us today at Operation Sports, but if we missed anything, feel free to shout it out in the comment section below over at the Operation Sports forums on Twitter at Operation Sports, or just pray it to Sister Jean, who I'm sure will relay the message to God. And if you liked me, well, my name is Matthew Ederer, and I co-host the NXT Talk podcast with my good buddy Boris Aguilar over at Sunday Night's Main Event Radio. So check out NXT Talk every Thursday morning on Patreon, and check out Sunday Night's Main Event Radio for some of the best interviews in all of the wrestling business, completely free in your podcast feed. Just this week, Jason Agnew interviewed Christian Cage, and of course, keep it locked here at Operation Sports for the best in sports video gaming. Thanks for listening, everybody. Stay safe out there.